good job. You're nice to your customers. Why then must you suffer the headache of returns? Uh, excuse me, I'd like to return this Nintendo. Uh, who do I talk to about that? Tell you what, you'll need to go right back there to the electronics area and they'd be happy to help you. Oh, gosh, you know, I haven't really got a lot of time. To... Could you take care of it yeah, here, please? Yeah, I'd love to, but I can't. I need to send you to electronics right back there. They'd be happy to help you. All right, thank you. Hi there. What can I do for you? Uh, customer service sent me over um, to talk to you and give this to you. Uh, if you take a look at it, I don't know what's uh, the matter with it. It was working, and now it's not working, uh, so I'd appreciate if you, uh, you know, take a look at it. I'd like to get an exchange for it, if I could. An exchange? Yes, sir. Uh, well, uh, do you have... Well, I guess I'd better take a look Why at it. Why don't you take a look um, at it? Yeah. That's right. Thank you. Do you, do you know what's on here? Uh, no, no. I mean, the uh, kids couldn't have done anything. I mean, they're good kids. Uh, Sometimes they... they'll put soft drink or something on there. No, no, no. It's not soda pop. I don't know. Uh, it was fine, but just... Uh, 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 I'd appreciate it if I had an ex exchange on it. I have a uh, clear uh, appointment. i got to get going. You, you know, know, I'd really like to help you out here, but I don't... You know, an exchange. Listen, you guys have been great in the past. And I'd, uh, well, you know, you've always taken care of me, and I'd uh, appreciate could, an exchange. But, you know, the warranty does specify that you have to keep it really clean because it doesn't work if it gets dirty. Some people will go to great lengths to return an abused or an out-of-warranty piece of merchandise. What are you supposed to do? Tell them what you really think? Of course you can't do that. And how about the customer who tries to bully you into taking back something you know isn't broken? These guys are a real problem. You people amaze me. You really amaze me. Your quality control people, they just have bats in the belfry. Bought this Game Boy yesterday, took it home, nothing. Absolutely nothing. No picture. I'm pretty sure it's the EEPROM, so if you just want to take a look at that, I'd fix it myself, but I don't really have the tools, so I'll take my money back. If you... I'm sorry you had a problem. There's nothing at all, huh? Nope. Well, let's see. EEPROM. Power on. Battery looks okay. Here's the tone. And give it a moment, and... Not the music. Uh-huh. Here we go. I think this is probably the problem. Yeah. Just needed to turn up the contrast a bit. How's that look? Oh. Of, of course, the contrast. I think that was probably my, my, my kid didn't... Uh... I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it? Yeah. Okay. And what about the nice guys who actually have a legitimate problem? In many ways, they're the toughest of all to take care of. The controller doesn't work. Oh. I get, there's a picture, but there's no action. Probably I, I didn't read the instructions right. I, I'll just take a look here and see how it works. I didn't want to have to bring it in, but I just couldn't get it to work. And there you go. Really it's working now. Well, look, 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 sweetie, it's working. Oh, Thank you so much. Oh, I'm now, tell so me, sad. when you plugged it in, did you put it into port number one or port number two? I put it in port number two. Uh-huh. Okay, well, plug it into number one. Because if you put it into number two, it won't work. Oh. Oh, I can't no. believe That's it. That's a simple Something. mistake. I'm sorry, honey. Well, it's really so It's easy to see that all customers are not the same. But no matter what size or shape they come in, and no matter what kind of products they're bringing back, they all have one thing in common. They feel they have a problem. Now for the good news. Nintendo is doing something about it. Something that will make your job a whole lot easier. Could I, could I bring you a pie later? Last year, Nintendo of America sold over 90 million pieces of Game Boy, Nintendo Entertainment Systems, Game Packs, and accessories. Only a small percent of those products that were returned by your customers were actually defective. An excellent track record for a high-quality product. That's why the seal of quality goes on every one of our products. In many cases, the customer simply failed to follow the simple directions packaged with their product. So they come running to you. And that's a waste of time for everybody. But what are you supposed to do? You're not a Nintendo mechanic. You're a customer service specialist. Well... Nintendo has the solution to this dilemma. Next time one of your customers comes into your store with a Nintendo product after you've sold it, you'll have the answer. What can I do for you? Uh, well, I'm having a little problem with, I mean, my kids are having a little problem with the Nintendo system. <laughs> uh, All right, let's take a look at it and see uh, what the problem is. Uh, well, it doesn't, it just seems to be a solid color on the TV screen. Ah, uh -huh. okay, so you put the game in, part up. And it's, it's just solid blank, color. solid color. Well, does it look anything like... Are there these two right here? Oh, the blue one. By spending a few minutes reviewing the Nintendo Troubleshooting Guide, you can probably answer 90% of the questions that come your the way. The common problem, as you can what see there, it? it's a result of dirty connectors. It comes from, you know, not maintaining the equipment properly, getting uh -huh. a little dust, a little dirt in there. So what do I so do? So what you need to do 
is you need to use this Nintendo cleaning kit. It's really, it's just like cleaning the heads in your VCR. It goes in there, cleans up the connectors there, cleans up the connectors inside the game packs. You're all set. Back in business. That's all I need? That's all you need. Terrific. How but much is it? It's uh, eleven ninety-five. Why don't you take the service brochure with you, too? It'll help you if you need to troubleshoot anything in the future. Okay. And uh, if this gives you any more trouble like that, I recommend you call the uh, Nintendo World Class Service Consumer uh, Hotline. It's got a toll-free number there on the front of the brochure. Or you can call the, uh, you know, the local service center. Their number here is 555-3700. Thanks, Jim. Hey, come back and see us again. Okay.